What's up YouTube, it's Joel here. We've got your four stimulus check update. We have great news from the White House and Congress about the fourth stimulus check, and I'm gonna break it all down for you and show you why we'll be seeing another four stimulus check coming our way, as well as more news for those on Social Security for actually getting your missing stimulus checks that you should have gotten a long time ago. So we also have news on the new Family Security Act that's gonna be giving $4,200 to families, and we have more info on the new monthly stimulus payments that are gonna be sent out to families starting in July with more info on what you need to do to be prepared. This is your stimulus and economic news update, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. You know how we do it on this channel, so let's do our own stimulus giveaway. If we can get to 7,000 likes on this video, then I'm gonna be giving away another $500 to someone on this channel. And all you have to do is number one, be subscribed to the channel, number two, smash that like button, and number three, comment on this video on what you think about the stimulus checks and the American Securities Act. And I just wanna say that I really appreciate all of you who are supporting the channel, all the likes, all the comments. This wouldn't be possible without you. Y'all are awesome, and we're just gonna continue grinding, continue growing this channel, all the way to a million subs. And please, if anyone asks you for personal info or to con contact them, through WhatsApp, it's fake, it's not me. Anything with that with Bitcoin, don't do it, it's fake. So there is a new bill that has come forward that is called the Family Security Act. This Family Security Act would provide a monthly cash benefit to families with children worth up to $4,200 per year until the age of five and $3,000 per year until the age of 17. This is $600 more than Biden's current increase for the child tax credit. And this is for those kids five years and younger. But one thing that is better is that it's being paid out monthly and it's not really considered a tax credit. It's more just a monthly payment. To qualify for this, if you're single, you would have to make less than $200,000 a year. And if you're married, filing jointly, then you would have to make less than $400,000 a year. But this would literally bring out one third of children out of poverty in America and make it so that families have more money to take care of their kids and their specific situation. Because I mean, tax credits are great, but cash can be used based on each family's unique needs and preferences, so it's actually better. This plan actually is an upgrade from Biden's current plan and gets more money into families' pockets immediately. And this would be effective for the next four years with plans to make this permanent. Now for the law that's already been passed, advance payments of the 2021 child tax credits will be made regularly from July through December to all those eligible taxpayers who have a main home in the United States, so the residence is in the United States for more than half the year. Now these payments again will continue through December, but this credit is available to married taxpayers filing jointly who make less than 150,000 a year, and for those filing as head of household who make less than $112,500 a year, and all other taxpayers who make less than $75,000 per year. So the IRS has released more information about these changes to the child tax credit that parents are going to be receiving, you know, starting this summer, but they have verified that the eligible taxpayers will be able to get part of the 2021 child tax credit this year again, and that the payments will effectively begin in July and continue to the end of this year. So but if you don't want to receive the 2021 child tax credits in advance, then you'll have the opportunity to decline those payments and receive the full benefit when you file your taxes for 2021. This is going to be one of the biggest immediate helps to families. It's one thing to be waiting till tax season to get some help. It's another to go ahead and get immediate monthly stimulus payments that's going to be able to take care of your needs now, not waiting for later. Are you in favor of the monthly payments or are you in favor of the one-time payments? Because Biden has his bill that will extend this beyond 2021 and will be for the next four years. But this isn't going away. They already got the bill that, like I said, they want to make this permanent. So no doubt this is going to be bringing millions of families out of poverty with this immediate monthly help that they're going to be able to get monthly now 
and this is a new form of stimulus payments that are going to be sent out directly into people's bank accounts. Okay, now on to the four stimulus checks. And one, we have one sentence that when this was said, this is the biggest reason that we're going to see two more bills and a high likelihood for the fourth and fifth stimulus check. The White House said it would be up to Congress to decide whether more direct payments would go out the door this year. Jen Psaki, the White House press secretary, did not rule out supporting another round, but said that the push for it will have to come from Congress and not from President Biden. The stimulus law in March included, you know, a round of the $1,400 direct payments for people earning $75,000 or less and couples earning $150,000 or less. This program actually cost $422 billion to make happen. So it's pretty big cost in terms of giving all the stimulus checks to everybody. Now we look at who's in Congress and what are the real chances? Because right now the Democrats have the ways and means to pass a fourth stimulus check. We've got Chuck Schumer, who's the head of the Senate. We've got Nancy Pelosi, who's head in the House of Representatives with over a hundred more lawmakers who already are game for making a fourth stimulus check happen. But we also got Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren who are in favor, who are on the Senate and Finance Committee, who already have both endorsed for a fourth stimulus check. So in terms of Congress, we're looking pretty good on making this fourth stimulus check happen. Now they have two opportunities and we know this is going to be done through budget reconciliation without GOP support. The reason it's not going to be done bipartisan is because of what McConnell just said. He literally said 100% of my focus is standing up to this administration. McConnell's focus is blocking Biden's agenda 100%, basically for whatever it is. There's no bipartisan, there's not a unity bill that bringing them together, there's no let's get together, make it work. We clearly are divided in Congress in terms of Republicans and Democrats and what they want to pass. Again. That's why we will see these new bills pass via budget reconciliation because they don't need GOP support. That's the way they just passed the latest $1.9 trillion stimulus package and the Senate parliamentarian already said that, hey, they would allow the Democrats to pass two more bills with so many Democrats already supporting direct payments. This is where things are going. We know that Republicans, GOP doesn't support these huge stimulus packages. The Democrats have the ways and means to make it happen. So let me know if you want a four stimulus check. Did the stimulus checks help you out or could you have done without it? So let's be real because there are some people that I even know that said, hey, I really didn't need it, but they were giving it away. So I took it. So now for those on social security, the social security administration said, if you receive social security, supplemental security income benefits, and are still waiting on a stimulus check, you should file a tax return as soon as possible in order to get your money. They also said, even if you have no income coming in, you should file a return if there's any extra money that's owed to you. Now, if you wanna file online, you can use TurboTax like I do. That link I've put down in the description to do a free tax filing online through TurboTax so you can get your free money. It's under the words, file taxes. But remember, we are about building our own wealth and financial freedom for ourselves and for those around us. So not waiting on the government, not waiting on those stimulus checks, we're gonna go ahead and start building some wealth for ourselves and going ahead and getting some free money. If you can start investing, getting two free stocks with Weeble worth up to 1,850 bucks, or you can use Robinhood and get two free stocks with them worth up to $500, these are easy to use platforms that get you going in the right direction. And guys, even if it's just five or $10 a week, that's where it all starts. And it allows you, you start on the path to allowing your money to start growing and working for you even while you're sleeping. That is one of the best things and you can get to a point to that no matter what day of the week, your money is working for you and you are making money with your money. So those links are down in the description. Let me know which free stocks you get and take some extra change, whether it's five or $10 or even a couple bucks, buy some stocks through Robinhood or Webull and take that extra change and make a change in your life. Get to financial freedom, 
get to where you want to be at concerning your personal finances. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all stimulus and economic news that affects you and learn how to build some wealth. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll answer them. This is Joel with True Life Investing. Until next time, peace out.